Hey Pitalami, it's me Pitsley. Today I'm going to be showing you guys Adobe's brand new update coming this Thursday, the new spooky house guys. And also the brand new furniture. But let's go, let's jump right up down to the main center in three, two, one, oh no! Ah! What? <laughs> Whoa, that was not good. Good thing we landed on top of the hospital though, because we're definitely gonna have to go there after that massive crash. That was crazy. Okay, Red Salami, let's go, let's get into this. But quickly, don't we actually added a mini update where they re-updated Nurse Nee's whole outfit. So that's actually pretty cool. Maybe this could be hinting at a brand new hospital update. I don't know, they haven't updated the hospital in like forever. So I really want them to update it because they're updating all the clothing. And also Dr. Hart has an even better outfit now. I think uh, Adopt Me starting to make their own clothes. I think they used to use other people's designs, but now they're starting to make their own ones, which are pretty awesome. And you can actually buy that outfit in their little Dreamcraft uh, shop. It's like the nurse pants and stuff. So that's a little bit of a sneaky update that they added in. Also, they updated uh, Brad Chad's outfit, as well as most of their other outfits. They made them themselves, which is pretty cool. Okay, Brett Salami, we're on Adopt Me Weekly News, and they tell us everything coming this week in Adopt Me. Halloween update. Last week was a really busy one with a load of bugs being fixed and the candy payout from minigames being increased. Yes, so after the Roblox outage, there was a few different bugs that they had to patch. You guys also commented on my videos, Presley, there's this random bug. Presley, this, this, there's this random bug. But Adopt Me did patch those bugs and also increased how much money you can get from the rewards. So hopefully the scares haven't stopped yet as we have another spooky themed update coming this week with a scary house and a furniture set to match. So, there's a brand new spooky house coming into the game, as well as brand new furniture, which is so, so sick. So we'll be seeing a brand new house that we can go and get ourselves, and brand new furniture we can buy, because the last set of furniture, if we go into stuff, was the artsy update. Wait, if we go to new, uh, no, it was the baby shop update, sorry. And that was like a couple of months ago. So we definitely are in need of a brand new house and a brand new furniture set. But Pretzelami, I am so, so hyped for this update. And Today, I'm gonna to be showing you everything we know about this brand new spooky house as well as all of the different furniture. Adopt Me actually commented something on that post that gave us even more information about this update and it was pretty sick. You heard that right, a brand new scary house is coming so you can keep the screams going all year round. We'll also be sharing a furniture pack with items based off the Halloween event this year. So even when it leaves, you can bring your memories to life or build your own terrifying dungeon. But let's teleport to the crypt and let's take a look at some different furniture that could be added into the game. Because when they said that, they meant that literally the furniture that we've got in the update can be added. So there's some candles that we've got. There's like tiny little candles. There's these skulls that we could have around our houses. We have got skulls right now, but they're skulls with candles in them. So if you're trying to use them as a skull, it kind of ruins it. So they could add these little skulls in. They could also add a little ferns, the logs, and the mushrooms, which would be really, really awesome. So we can make it a little bit like dangerous around our house. And also the no swimming sign will be awesome for them to add into the game. That'll be really, really cool. Or have a sign like this that we can change the text of so that it's a little bit different than just like a no swimming sign. But if we head down here, they could add all the different coral and the different seaweed for us to put into our builds. This will be so awesome. And it's so easy for them to actually do this. And also we've got the massive Jesse here statue and they could totally add this into the game. That'd be so, so awesome if they do. Imagine just a Jesse floating around the main area of your build. <laughs> Or like when people come into the, your house, you've got like 10 Jessies surrounding your door and it's like, Jesse here, Jesse here, Jesse here, Jesse here, Jesse here, the second that they come in. That'll be so crazy and so loud. Also, what I'm thinking is they could add a magic cauldron that can brew us all the different types of potions. Or it could just be something cool and it's just like a decoration. Or it could actually brew us potions. It'll be so awesome if it could. So imagine that, just having like the cauldron in your house as a building decoration, that'd be awesome. And also another sign that we could use, Adopt Me could literally just copy and paste this and let us use it in our houses, but we'll be able to change the text. That'd be pretty awesome. But Brett Salami, there's so many little things 
things and all these little decorations could be added in as little things that we can go and decorate with in the update. Also, these little people holding up the pillars, I think that Adopt Me is definitely going to add the little people and maybe even those pillars with the people. That'll be really, really cool because we'll be able to use those in our builds, which will be awesome. Now, they can also add these iron bars for us to use because they said we could build dungeons with a pretzel army. So maybe we could add some of those. Our little arrow signs, that'll be awesome for them to add in. And then also the bubbling pit of lava. They need to add the bubbling pit of lava. It's so dangerous, but it will be so cool if we could have that in our house. Something that I'm 100% sure that they will add are these little coffin-like things. Like they're little coffee tables, but they also look like a coffin. So it could be, it could be a coffin table instead of a coffee table. <laughs> a coffin table. Uh, also, these little pillars, I feel like Adopt Me is going to add those so that we can put them in. Also, the torches on the walls and even these statues of the evil gargoyle dragons as well as that gargoyle dragon up there. So, the little ones and the massive ones. Because if we head back to our house, Adopt Me actually added some furniture of red pandas after they released the hot springs. They released the hot springs, which had those awesome red panda statues. And now, we have the red panda statues statues as decoration. Panda, I can quickly grab it out. Here we have the big red panda statue and the little one. And we can actually go and use these in furniture and around our house, which are pretty cool. So look at that. That's actually really awesome. So maybe Adopt Me could add the same thing, but with those gargoyle evil dragon pets. But Pretzel Army, do you think Adopt Me is really just going to do a full update with just a house and just some furniture? I feel like that'll be really, really awesome. And I'm here for it. I would love that. But I feel like Adopt Me loves to add little sneaky pets in with these updates. So Pretzel Army, I've got a few different ideas on what pets Adopt Me could add in the update. So let's go, let's teleport back to Crypt. And about a minute ago, I showed you one of the pets that I thought Adopt Me could add. Let me show it to you, Pretzel Army. And Pretzel Army, it's actually the Evil Dragon pet. So we thought that the Evil Dragon and Evil Chick, which I'll show you in a second, could come in the main Halloween event, but Adopt Me didn't add them in. But they've actually got a ton of these evil dragons around the place and they've got different emotions like there's the smiling one and the happy one and then outside are the evil ones and like the mean ones and then there's also normal ones so there's a ton of different designs that Adopt Me have made so they just need to copy and paste them in add a few animations and boom we've got a brand new pet so that's one pet Adopt Me could add the second pet they could add is the evil chick which let me show you okay so we just need to head out of the exit and literally just look up as we head out of the exit pretzel army look we're here we look up and boom there is the evil chick pet so it's pretty similar to the other one if we quickly have it like that there we can kind of see it better here but it's very very similar to the evil dragon except it's just an evil chick which is really really awesome but then if we head back into here there's another pet that adopt me of leech could be coming in and this one is the evil Dog. That's right, Adopt Me has leaked an evil dog coming into the game and they've made the full pet. If we head into this sneaky Christmas area that Adopt Me leaked, we can see the massive evil dog here, which is crazy, Brett Salami. It's got bright red eyes and a bright red nose. It's crazy. But Brett Salami, this is actually really, really awesome. So look at this. Adopt Me could add this into the game as a brand new pet, an evil dog. So there's the evil chick. There's the evil dragon and also the evil dog Adopt Me could add. But then there's one more pet that Adopt Me have leaked. I know there's so many different pets that Adopt Me could add, but this next one is an evil spider. Ages ago, Adopt Me did a poll asking which pet would you want? A scorpion, a spider, or a snake? And snake came first and they put the snake into the game. And then spider came second. But Scorpion came third. So we got me out of the Scorpion with this update, meaning they totally just missed the spider pet. And that could be for one of two reasons. One, they want to release it later on, like in another update, which will be perfect for this update, Prince Salami, the mini extra like part two Halloween update. We've got the house, the furniture, and even a brand new pet maybe. You don't haven't confirmed a brand new pet, but it, this will be really, really cool if they do add it. Or it was just too hard to animate all the tiny little legs, like all eight legs and all eight leg pieces. And they were like, you know what? That, that, that spider pet, that's gonna take too long to make. I'm not, I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> but Prince Salami, those are all of my 
my different ideas and all the different leaks on this brand new update coming this Thursday, Prince Salami. That's right, it's coming this Thursday, and it's gonna be sadly at 11 p.m. for me, but don't worry, I will be live streaming. So make sure to hit that subscribe button with the post notification bell on so you know when I'm going live, because I'll schedule it a couple of hours early so that everybody can jump on it when they need to. So Prince Salami, get hyped for that, and I'll see you on the next one. Have the best day ever. Peace! Yeah.